Hello everyone, I'm Josh from Demo One Garage, and today we're going to try explain dirty air and what it is and how it affects a Formula One race. So let's get into it. So let's firstly quick explain downforce and how it's distributed along an F1 car. Downforce in a nutshell provides more grip by forcing the car towards the ground. As the car passes through the air, the shape of the chassis and the wings placed at both the front and rear of the car produce a downwards thrust, aka downforce. Uh, this allows the driver to take corners at higher speeds. Interestingly though, the principle used here is the same one used for aeroplanes. While the wings on an aeroplane create lift, on an F1 car the wings are reversed and create a downwards force, aka aerodynamic grip. As for how the aerodynamic grip is distributed along the car, here are the numbers. 23% is produced on the front wings, about 60% by the floor and side barge boards, and 17% on the rear wings. So this all accumulates to 100%. So let's explain this dirty air phenomena. As the car passes through the air, as we know, it gains downforce as it passes through what you can call the still clean air. And this has a big impact on it as it's doing so. When the car pushes through the air, the air now assumes that force and starts moving in the same direction as the car. The air left in the car's wake is what we refer to as dirty air. The car behind now moves into this dirty air, but as it is now moving in the same direction, plus the air pressure is now lowered, this has a big effect on aerodynamic grip of the following car. Grip at the front is close to zero now, and the effectiveness of the aerodynamics are now so compromised due to the dirty air produced from the lead car. The rear wing though, interestingly, on the lead car, creates a large rising wake of turbulent air. This soon plateaus over the following car, so it actually doesn't affect it too much, if at all. The largest issue is the wake created by the front wings and barge boards. As it sends turbulent air out behind both sides, the following car then drives into this wake and it loses further downforce and reducing overall grip. So, because the chase car has now lost a lot of downforce, there is less grip to take into the corners, resulting in the driver requiring to brake earlier and taking corners slower than usual. As a lot of overtaking is done on the straights, having more speed when exiting a corner is key to getting the overtake completed by the end of that straight. This is, in a nutshell, what dirty air is and how it affects cars out on track. So, as I said here, we have the lead car being the Ferrari passes through the air. It creates this dirty air that then the following car has to drive into. It has less overall grip meaning it can't go as fast, meaning overtakes are harder to do, and etc, etc. So hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit. Being Josh from Demo One Garage, remember guys to race hard and on the edge. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell if you want more stuff from us here on YouTube. I will catch everyone in our next video.